We're in uh, Dalian, China. This is a pretty cool town, and this is actually where they invented the Zamboni. I'm not sure if you get my drift here. That's going to take a while to do this square. Yeah. It's an amazing course. Impossible greens. Par four. Deborah's driving the green. Fair way. Good shot. Getting into the fog. It's going to work. No. no. Going to Tiananmen Square. A little hectic uh, just trying to cross the street here. Three minutes trying to get through uh, the security queue for Tiananmen Square. It's really moving well now. <laughs> Short range. Almost made it to the front of the line. Oh, they're checking the bags and make sure you don't have any, don't bring any gasoline or lighter inside. So they check the bags very carefully. Make sure. We, che we check to make sure people aren't bringing drinks in to get drunk. Is that not what we're doing here? <laughs> That's not it, huh? <laughs> Why are they worried about gasoline? They are used to burn themselves here. Just to get the attention. Tailgate party. Different kind of tailgate party. It is for the city. Jeremy Mao. It's a very friendly place. There are three different kinds of security forces here. That one that from the south to the north, 960 meters to be accurate. East to west, 750 meters, making the whole city 720,000 square meters. You still remember how big Tiananmen Square was? You mentioned it? 440,000 square meters. So this is almost double of the size of Tiananmen Square, almost double of the size of the Vatican. That's why we say this is the largest, and talking about the oldest, it was built from 1406 to 1420, 600 years old now older than the Packingham, older than the Louvre. And then best preserved, mega guess, how many rooms in the whole city? 9,999 rooms, that was the idea. But now still 8,700 left. The important one among all of this ceremony was the new emperor's succession to the chair. So in those occasions, the emperor would be sitting in his throne chair, which is the only thing inside this building. Beside that, empty space for ceremony and top ranking ministers will be standing in front of him inside the building middle ranking ministers stand on the terraces low ranking ministers from all over the country stand here in the courtyard and during the ceremony everyone had to kneel down in both knees to worship him no matter how old he is so in a very famous movie the last emperor you could see this yeah scenery have you heard of that the yes. movie yes. Have you seen it? Seen it. Haven't seen it, but oh, it after, won some big awards, I think. After this trip, yeah, you should, and it will make so much more sense now, okay. because it literally happened here and also made here. They filmed it here. It was the first and the last movie really filmed here. After that, no more. This is the picture when he was a boy, a baby, with his parents. Wow. And that's uh, when he became the emperor, three years old. That's the one who picked him to be the last emperor, the dragon lady. Mm. Have you heard of her? Yeah. Yes. Lady? She's a very, very powerful lady. She ruled China for 48 years. Uh, in Yunin, in the old days. Yunin. Now, he doesn't use that name anymore. Because he doesn't want people to know yes. who he is. Yes. But who is he? I think he's the, from his family tree, the nephew of the last emperor. And he does calligraphy for... Yeah. And he might do some for us? If you want, you can see he's doing that for those people there. Yeah, he's doing it for those people. So this guy's probably going to be very famous. He's doing one special for us. Double happiness. Mm. Signature. No, 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 no. The bottom line also means that if the person they have two children will be born in the family. So all these things come together. And you know, madam, this building's name is the Hall of the Longevity and Happiness. 
So now it's the rating is the last three. Is this building's name? So and now this one is name scale. In China we say good feng shui for balance. Best wish is for you. For your couple means good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. From here, only five days. They begin eating it. Until here, 10 days, 15 days, 20 days, 25 days. You can see from smallest to the biggest, only 25 days they eat it. After 25 days, it will be stop eating. And they begin spend the silk from the mouth around the soft body, layer by layer. Become this kind of cocoons. You can feel the real cocoons. Then we use the cocoons to make the silk products. After 15 days, inside the silk worm, it will, it will become a, become the silk mouth. The big one is female, small one is male. So, as like, it should be. Uh, like I asked, lady always the boss. Do you think so, sir? No. No, but the ladies are always the big one once you get yeah. married. <laughs> <laughs> but I think a lot of customers told us, lady always the boss at home in the world. Right. One pair of silk mouth to get it the babies can lay 400 babies. Then from the babies become the life cycle, whole life or silk arms only two months. Mm. In China, we got the two kinds of cocoon. You can see one is smaller, another one is bigger. The smaller one, there's only one silk arm inside. We cut a single cocoon. One silk arm spend the silk only one thread. So after we boil it, we can get it in. From these smaller cocoons, we can cut as long as 1,300 meters circle thread. 1,300 one, meters? Yes. But this one is after made by machine, make the stronger one. We can feel. Then we use the thread to make the fabric. Uh, after that, we can enjoy the fabric to make a duvet cover, a t shirt, a scarf, pajama, something else. Cocoon making the smaller one. First, you put the single cocoons into hot water about two hours, make it soft like this. See? It's very soft. Then we put it into cold water. Now, this one's cold water. With this kind of brush, you can feel it's very hard. It's very strong. What is this? A brush? A brush. Okay. We will be doing like this. Stay them. It will be fine and see. Well, that's how you get the strands. From one cocoon, we can get 1,300 meters. But now you feel this one. Here. Feel this one, sir. Very thin. This is the one piece. One piece is equals one fifth over here. So it's more easy broken. Here by the machine, you put some pieces, see? Some pieces under here. Oh, it's unraveling? Uh, to insulate it to make it a strong one. After we get a circle thread, we put the thread to the fabric machine, woven the fabric. Then we can dye the colors to make the patterns on the fabric one by one, one by one. Right. This is a little bit like cotton, how cotton is done with cotton uh, balls. It's similar like the cotton, but the sequence, uh, the machine is, uh, the thread is more thin. Right. Yes. Also, like this one, we already got the sugar thread. This is the inside the pupa. We can eat it. It has half protein. One pupa, the nutrition like three eggs. Three eggs? Okay. Yeah. We also use the pupa to make a lady's hand cream and the face cream can make your skin younger than before. Like 20 years. So, so we're at the Great Wall in Baling. One of the first ones that was renovated and built. It's a bit of a steep climb. Deborah with her hiking shoes and uh, some good advice. I can't imagine going up here in the snow. Well, I made it. That's serious hill though. Check out these steps, about half the height of Deborah's knees or more, almost to her knees. In Shanghai. Beautiful weather for a change. And you can't believe how big and beautiful and busy this is. This is just part of the city there. Look at the boats. All the coal going by. That might explain some of the pollution. It's a nice day today for sure. Look, it just goes on and on. another part of town last night and it seems just as big and just as busy. Beggars, 
chicken in Shanghai. Never read it off. We don't know what it is. It's like a big uh, beehive being cooked. But we st everybody's standing back. I don't know what that More! More! More. Yeah! Oh yeah, careful. Uh, that's, a, that's, a big, that's a big baked potato. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a chicken in there. Yeah. Shanghai night.